Well, I think basically it's the same problem that a lot of African countries are facing. Um, it's the development structures. Most of the countries don't have enough finance to pump into development structures for football at grassroots. And that is where the problem lies. Because even if you can try and participate, if you don't have the technical skills properly developed in the, in the, in the players, it's pointless, you know, trying to compete with people who have better development structures than you have. Most of the countries in Africa that have players playing abroad have got good development structures, unlike Swaziland. We don't have many internationals. Our internationals are limited maybe to going to South Africa, and that doesn't really build them up to a level where Swaziland can then participate with international teams at world-class standards. There haven't been any changes, unfortunately, because, like you're saying, Bomba has been at the helm of Swazi football for quite a long time now. And maybe that is another thing that needs to be looked at. But again, I don't think so. The major opinion of most football followers is that Swazi needs to develop from the grassroots. Some time back, when we had the Chappies Little League, a lot of the players like Yuki Masina, who's now playing in South Africa, those were developed through those leagues. And at that time, when Fitlang was playing in Kosafa, you know, Fitlang would go as far as the semifinals of, of Kosafa, was competing regionally and competing well. Today, Swaziland doesn't even win a game in the Kosafa tournament. So that goes to show that those structures that were done away with, are not are really needed. That is what we need to develop the kids from under 13 upwards. By the time they hit their 23 year, you know, year age, then they are well developed. Right now, they are not developed at all. The assistant coach was Matre Bulunga. Matre Bulunga is an experienced coach. He's Swazi. He has been coaching in the Premier League for the past 10 years or so. He's been the assistant coach for Valerie Billen. So now he's going to be in charge of the team going forward until maybe they appoint another coach because there are a lot of coaches who have shown interest in taking over the post. It's difficult to say because the official line is that the coach has commitments back home in Belgium, which have made it difficult for him to continue uh, coaching this town. But at the same time, there are complaints that he has not delivered because since he came, Swaziland has been hammered. The last time Egypt beat them 10-1, when they were preparing for the World Cup. And coming back to Kosafa, we did not win a single game in the Kosafa tournament. We went out without winning anything. The only time we saw any light of day was when he took a junior team to Angola in a four-nation uh, tournament. That is the only time when he showed, showed that, you know, there is something that he can do. But otherwise, with the senior national team, he has delivered nothing at all. So it's difficult to say whether... I, all performance-based, or it's actually the commitments that he has back home, or maybe the commitments are just an excuse to make to gloss over the fact that he has failed to perform.